All right, guys, as you can see from the title, we're going to give you some tips on fishing Convict Lake. We're going to get right into it and keep it as simple as possible just to give you some quick tips. Uh, first spot is the jetty. This is the most, probably the most fish spot there is on the lake because of how close it is to the parking lot. Uh, you just pull in, park here, you walk across right there, and you can walk out on this jetty and fish. Now, I recommend if you're going to fish the end here, um, be aware of the boats that are leaving here. Don't don't hook into a boat or hook somebody as they're coming by. So try to keep your bait from being in this area. Uh, you'll, you'll definitely get into a boat motor if you do it. Uh, but all along here, it's a great place to throw lures, spoons, um, bait fish, whatever. You'll see a lot of float tubers out here. Now, right away, I want you guys to notice what you see. You see this bowl feature right here? It looks like a like a line and then it's dark. Well, that's a part of the glacial cutout. A long time ago, a glacier dipped in here and cut out this lake and now it left a big shelf, big bowl right here. And um, so that area is great to fish along. And if you can get your bait, lure along the edge of this, you'll see a lot of trout hanging around here. Um, they do stock the lake on this side. They, they put them in, I've seen them put them in here right here by the road and then over here at times. I've even seen them walk over here and dump them in with the buckets. So this is good. This is when, it, you know, a lot of fish tend to hang out here in the outlet. Um, you'll see them right, right in here a lot in this area and people are trying to catch them from the bridge and you know what, they might catch a couple, but just avoid that and just come over here and fish the jetty um, and then maybe even over here along the south shore. So we'll work our way around real quick. As you can see, this is a good spot to park and some good fishing along the south shore. A lot of bush here, so if you're trying to cast, you gotta watch your your back cast. You know, when you're swinging back, you might hook a tree. So uh, bring, you know, bring the gear that you think you can make good casts with the trees around you. And these spots tend to fill up. And when it's real busy, all along here, any opening will be full of people uh, all the way most of the summer uh, only when the weather gets bad that people avoid it so as you see that line right here um, it's starting to get closer to the shoreline where the the depth drops off the old drop off that's a good thing to pay attention to those are places that you want to try to fish as we come down to the end of the road here along the south side you'll see this turnaround well that's the farthest that you can drive your car is right there and um, just so happens to be a pretty good place to fish. This is also the last place that you will have good access if you're not a hiker. Um, great place to take the kids. Um, they have weddings down here. I mean it's a pretty picturesque spot to fish the lake. You should definitely check that out. Um, they may even have a couple of pictures. Let's see. Yeah so there's a couple of Google map pictures here. Let's just show you what those look like um, to give you an idea. Yeah, see, this is what that shoreline looks like. Um, yeah, it's pretty clean, see. So you can see that drop-off out there, right there. So just cast just past that. Let's see if it'll clear up. Yeah, see, pretty pretty neat spot. So as you can see, we're, we're, this is where the trail ends for cars, and then you can hike all along this shore here. Now right here, if you see right there, this is a tough area right here. This can be very steep and uh, for hiking and getting down to the shore. Uh, we're gonna show you that from the air in a minute, but I want you guys to see it from here. This is a good, good way to show you the lake. And then we're gonna show you this inlet area uh, back at the back, and then of course the North Shore here. And that's looking back toward the boat ramp. So this is a good spot, guys. If you got kids, you can see, oh look, they did have a wedding there, so. Yeah, they do have weddings. It's pretty neat. I've been I've been here when they've had one of those. It was pretty neat. Me and the wife actually thought about getting married here, but they uh, I don't know they wanted a little bit too much for what we were looking for. So anyway, uh, moving on to the next spot. Um, let's get up back in the air, and we'll show you what we're uh, doing here. And let's see. We'll cross that out and get back up. So. Down here in this corner, this is a great spot, real shallow in here. Uh, fish will hang out there, but again, tough access. You may even need waders at the right time of year. 
Um, this is the braided stream area of the back of the lake where all the bears hang out. Uh, a lot of people lose their stringers and stuff to bears, so if you're going to fish the inlets, uh, watch out for bears because they tend to hang out in here. A lot of shade and water, it's perfect for them, so uh, you will see at some point if you uh, fish there often enough. Um, this little cove here, true story, saw like a 10 to 15 pound fish under the boat over here once. Huge fish, unbelievable sized fish. Didn't want anything to do with anything we were throwing at it, but uh, it was an amazing fish, no doubt. And then, uh, let's see, moving along. So this is the North Shore. Um, if you're going to just fish this area, just access it from over here. Just walk along the north side. You don't need to go all the way around. Um, pretty good access, mostly here. You will not see very many people on this North Shore. So if you're looking to get away from people along the shoreline, this is where you want to go. Hike the North Shore and pick a spot. Um, guarantee you will probably not have many people fishing next to you. So this is where you want to get away. Now, you see that shelf here? That's probably not a good spot in the middle of the summer. I would I would fish more down here where you see that little straight where the water is deeper, closer to shore. Um, avoid these shelves in the summertime. They're not good. In the spring and late fall, great places to fish. Um, but in the middle of summer, June, July, August, definitely, even early September, eh, I wouldn't I wouldn't fish it. But uh, this is the famous area a long time ago. These called the hangman tree. Always really good fishing here. And that's because they stock the lake right here. So people would fish down here and get hooked up on some nice fish because they were just hanging around in here. Um, and they still do. Even to this day, the fish like to hang out around this area. So try this out. Walk along the North Shore and pick a spot and cast out. So that's it, guys. Um, last little tip. Be sure to try it out the creek down here. At times, they do put some really nice sized fish. At some point, I don't remember where, but I think it's right below the campground. Um, it's like a research area, and they don't let people fish it. It's off limits. You'll see signs. But uh, try out this little spot down here. Sometimes there's some big fish hiding in these trees um, along the riverbank. You'll see them. Uh, good spot. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, post up. This is an active page. I will answer every question. Um, give this like a try if you're uh, in the area. If it's busy, just move on to another spot. But if you can, there, uh, you know, fish it. It's a great lake. Awesome views, as you can see, and 100% worth giving it a try. So, pretty tough lake if you don't know, but uh, use this video and it'll help you out. So, like I said, if you had any questions, post up, and uh, we'll see you out there, guys.